everyone, welcome back to my channel. Most people have been asking me to do another talking video, so here we go. For primer, I'll be using the W7 Mattifying Primer. You'll probably hear my son in the background at some point in the video. Next, I'll be using concealer under the foundation so I'll be using the Revolution Concealer and Fine and for my foundation today I'll be using LA Colors Truly Matte in the shade Natural and Porcelain and the concealer is C2.5 And this is a full coverage foundation. As you can see, it's a very full coverage foundation. And this one I get from the pharmacy for about four or five pounds. So very affordable. I highly recommend if you like full coverage. Next I'll be using my Freedom Revolution Pro Contour Shaped Stick in the contour shade. Now I put a little bit under the lip to give the effect of filler lips. you see me looking up there, it's because there's a mirror. Next I'll be taking my Revolution Bacon Finish to set my face. I always set under my eyes first because I'm prone to creasing. And then set the rest of your face. For my eyebrows, I used James Charles. X Morphe palette and I use the shade Benny mixed with tea. And Tilly in the comments said she wanted to see a purple and pink look so today I might try and do a halo eye. I'm going to be mixing pink be drinky and canvas together and blending it into the crease. And off camera, I just carry on blending. Next, I'm going to be mixing Pinkity Drinkity with Skip. And I'll be patting that into the crease. And if there's any other eye looks or colours you want me to use, then leave it down below in the comments. I read and reply to everyone. Next I'll be taking the shade Love That and blending that into the crease to deepen it. And I might put it in the inner and outer corner of my eye.
might add some tape to make a more cat eye effect. Now with the tape I'm going to be just flicking it out. And this will give the illusion of bigger, longer eyes. Now pack on the outer and in the corner. tiniest bit of spooky and we'd love that to deepen up the outer corner. I'll be taking a fluffy brush and mix in pinkly drinky and skip to just blow out the top. Before we take the tape off. To get rid of powder, I just normally take my beauty blender again with additional product. You'll see me use this all the time. It's the Chocolate Elixir Glow by Revolution. I'm going to be popping this mix of this for the halo effect. But first you have to cut the crease. To cut the crease I'll be using the London Fast Infection. This product by Revolution I recommend because it's a really nice and smooth highlighter and most highlighters I use as eyeshadow, especially the colourful ones. And this is going on dry. Next I'll be going into the Miss Young Black Liquid Lipstick as my winged eyeliner because it's eye safe and it will stay on all day and it's also kiss proof and smudge proof on your lips and I get it for about one or two pound off of Amazon. you hear him at some point in the video. Now 
as you can see it's very pigmented and if I swatch some on my hand it will come back when it's dry and then you can see that it's smudge proof but even with one swipe it's full coverage. My delivery from Amazon came a few days ago, so I've ordered my favourite lashes again and you can see how they arrive. These are my favourite eyelashes and they're one or two pound again off of Amazon and it comes in a set of three. And they're just these fluffy lashes that start small and go outwards and they've got a slight curl. Before I put them on, I'm going to be using the LA Colour Auto Eyeliner for the waterlines. Taking the shade Love That again and blending out the waterline. Then I'll be taking Pinkity Drinkity and Single and I'll be blending the bottom out. Now I like the more blown out bottom effect because as I said before I have creasing. I'll be taking a shade canvas, it's just a neutral shade, and cleaning it up. I'm gonna pop on some lashes, curl my eyelashes, and use my normal mascara that you've seen in plenty of videos, and I'll be back to finish off the face. These are my go-to lashes, I only wear these ones. I just think they're not too dramatic, but they're not too natural either. Now I'm going to be taking the HD Pro Refill Pro Artist Contour by Revolution. Can I go where you would normally do the highlight because then when you blend it out it doesn't go too far down and look muddy I'm back to the swatches they're fully dry I'm going to come off Next I'm going to be taking the Revelation Pro 4K Bronzer Palette and using that shade. And hopefully Tilly you like the look because I done the purple and pink that you suggested. If you have any more suggestions, leave a comment down below, as you know, I read them all. Next I'll be taking the Studio London Bronzer. I've had this since I was little, but I only recently started using it. This is just going to give you a bronzy glow. I only use that on the forehead. Next I'm going to be taking this chocolate eyeshadow palette I got from Primark. It smells amazing. I like to use this shade and the peachy shade for blush. I 
And I'd normally pair it up with the purple shade from Miss Young. But because I've got eyelashes on now, I'll be using a nude, which is my normal nude. Which is a tiny bit of concealer. And as you can see, it's almost all gone. Which is the Zoella X Colourpop in the shade Little One. And I'll be putting this highlighter again to finish off the face. So I'll be back on something. And with this and a baby wipe. Still didn't come off. So it's only two pounds off of Amazon and it's Miss Young and all of the liquid lipsticks. <laughs> Um, this is a finished look. Hope you enjoyed. Bye. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to.